I will do the live streaming mainly in English, and I have two questions that I received on the story, like survey on the story. So I will talk about those two questions mainly, and I will edit that video. I will edit this video and upload it to the YouTube later on. So the first question is that first question is first hello Lili san konnichiwa hello first question was uh, what should I keep what should oh should I keep in mind while mending mending sashiko actually uh, that's the first question. Um, the first question is what what should I keep in mind while mending sashiko? And the second question was a little long, but uh, she, I think that she wanted to know the sort of the I think the time progress from what sashiko had been to can be with some examples. So I will talk about that a little bit. And the I it's kind of difficult to summarize the question, but probably... Um, well, she mentioned that Hanafkin, which I'm going to explain. Hanafkin and had been... And then can be. So those are the kind of two questions that I'm going to focus on today. The second question is kind of... Um, the topic that I'm working on the seminar... Not a seminar, webinar next Friday. So... If you are able to join that, I will talk about this, how Sashiko progressed from the past to today. This might be the um, good, and I'm sorry, the webinar might be the great opportunity to learn this progress. I will talk about chronologically. I don't know if I can do it today, but those are the two questions that I'm going to work on. Ah, Didi san arigato. Thank you so much. All right, so I will start stitching and then I will start answering the question. <clears throat> hmm. I wrote something kind of strict on today's post. Um, Please Google it first. It's really interesting that I... Um, it, Google has been like a pain for a long time because every time I Google it, the result was something unpreferable. Um, I didn't like the result. But recently, um, since I keep sharing the stories for like three years, for five years, four years, um, it is... Coming like um you could you you can get the stories that I would like to share. So if you have a question, if you have any question, uh, try to go to the Google and then search your question like what is Sashiko, what is you know why Sashiko thread, what is the Sashiko thread, what is the Sashiko needle. I am trying to find where I'm gonna restart, <laughs> and then add my name Atsushi. Then you'll probably get the answer pretty easily. Oh, where was I? Where was I stitching? Just a second. What? Wow, I cannot find it. So yeah, if you can, if you Google it, then probably you will answer. You will get the answer. And if you do not find the answer, in the first page or first YouTube videos page, then that might be a good question to ask. So please do not hesitate to ask that. Uh, if it's a technical question, it's already covered in the either YouTube tutorials or um, I will, of course, cover it on the online class. I'm talking about the cultural, to cultural aspect of Sashiko, so there's no such a thing as the good enough. It will be an endless conversation, so it will never be good enough, and I will have to keep talking about it. Uh, sashiko is very, 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 very simple. I'm not gonna say I, it's super difficult. 
but because it's super simple, it's not shallow. Uh, one cannot understand Sashiko in like a minute or so. I can teach Sashiko in a few hours and they can start learning what Sashiko is, but I cannot teach the whole picture of Sashiko within. I don't think it can be, it can be taught for that matter. So please Google that question first and then you'll probably most likely get the answer. And then after that, please consider your question to me. I appreciate the question, but I just don't want to <laughs> repeat the same question over and over again. So if you do not get the question from me, that means that I have answered it somewhere else. Alright, so the first question is, what should I keep in mind while mending Sashiko? And in order to answer this question, I have to say that Sashiko is not a technique for the mending. That's the one of the biggest, biggest misunderstanding or cultural filtration, I might say, that it's happening in the, U in the English. Uh, many people think that Sashiko is the technique to mend the fabric or denim or garment. It is not. I mean, mending is a very big part of Sashiko. Uh, it's a very important part of Sashiko, but it's not the technique. I mean, it's, it's, it's not equal. Um, it's like a... I use this analogy a lot, but what do you have to be careful? What do you, what do you want to be careful when you take a painkiller? Uh, let's say that you have a headache. What do you have to be mindful when you take a painkiller? Well, you make sure to eat enough before you take the painkiller. Uh, make sure that you do not overdose. But in long run, in the long picture, what you want to worry about is how you cannot get the headache. I mean, of course, you know, I have a migraine. I have a migraine, so, you know, the headache is kind of my friend at this moment. But you know, it is healthy to think about, it's much more healthier to think about how to not get the headache rather than how to treat the headache uh, when you need it. So this analogy is a bit of a twist, but Sashiko's whole purpose, the principle, pr principle of Sashiko is to make fabric stronger so you do not need mending. Of course, of course, you have, we had to do mending because we did not have enough fabric to replace it. So the mending is, of course, important part of Sashiko, but the, it's not the first purpose or fir first thing we think, first thing we think when we stitch. So, you know, 99% of the live streaming, I don't do mending because that's the last result. Um, so being that being said, uh, I don't know what should you should you keep in mind while mending. I don't really have that answer for it. But what I have in my mind while mending is um, how to not repeat that. So why did it get so badly damaged? Uh, is it because of my stitching or pattern or thread or fabric? Uh, if it's there's any patterns, what is the best way to mend to avoid the future damages? So it, it's like a vice versa. Sashiko is not the mending. Like sometimes I offer the mending videos. You can find it on my YouTube, but that I don't it is of course part of Sashiko but I do not consider that itself as Sashiko so 
that explains why I do not like those so-called sashiko who makes a lot of mending with damaging the fabric on purpose. To me, it looks like the junkie who takes the painkiller for the purpose of getting high or getting the painkiller. I mean, you don't want to damage your body or health to take the painkiller. Painkiller is a great way to help you, but it's not the result or purpose. So that's probably the biggest... And I think that's either misunderstanding something lost in the translation or they, somebody used the word sashiko or meant like borrow to promote this social movement of recycling, upcycling the fabric. I am perfectly good, fine with the movement of recycling, upcycling, mending. I, I personally enjoy it. Um, I do it and I, you know, I don't, I have never, I have not bought any fabric, not a fabric, sorry, the jacket since 2017, so I am the one who is mending the fabric. However, I think somebody who wants to get more attention or make money wants to, well, they, they did use the word to make it more unique, and that's why I'm kind of saying that it's not the first thing that I we have to um, so that's a very good question the question itself is uh, really good question I have never mentioned about this question what should I keep in mind while ending Sashiko and my answer was a little bit detour but I do think about the Sashiko I could have done better well, there's no such a thing as better, because the purpose is making the fabric stronger. And no matter how, no matter, no matter, no matter how good I stitch, the fabric is going to end up with the mess anyway. So it's the matter of time. But that's probably one thing we can do that. Just a second, I'm sorry. Okay, oh, I got a question. Just a second, though. Seeing you do sashiko now and comparing to how I'm using sashiko thread and stitches to mend my husband denim jeans, I can see that they are not the same thing at all. The materials are similar. Yeah, the technique and the intentions are different. So it is perfectly fine. I mean, I'm not saying that, you know, mending the denim with sashiko thread, sashiko, ooh. Fabric is not Sashiko fabric, uh, Sashiko needle thimble fabric thread is wrong because I enjoy it too. But it's not the the Sashiko. So I hope this explains. It, it, it is very much a twist, and then many people believe that Sashiko is the word for mending, right? That's the current trend. And I don't blame them because they just simply don't know. I mean, there's no information available. There were no, there, there was no information available um, re until recently, until I speak up. I might be the first one who actually say that. Such is not mending is kind of the killer. It's <laughs> I might be spreading the sand in their rice container, so I'm not probably doing a good job for that, but... But again, like truth is truth. They did not enjoy like mending itself is fairly mm, how can I explain that? Mending itself is not something we were proud of. And I think many cultures share that. I don't think many culture appreciated the mending itself and they did not have enough fabric. So, for that, we're kind of romanticizing the... I mean, that's perfectly fine to romanticize the culture. It's the problem happens when we ignore the origin or use that word and navigate the other people to the other direction. 
there are many people who, not a many, but there are people who contact me to advise me to educate the others. But that education is not purely education. Just they want to market what they want to do with the word Sashiko Boro. And I can tell the difference. I'm not... I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I am an idealist. And I, some, I sometimes don't see the things. But I am not that idiot to... Not to... <laughs> I will find out. I, I, can see, I can see through things for that. So yeah, Sashiko is not the word for the mending. And absolutely not the visible mending. Uh, it's almost the opposite, invisible mending. I mean, like, it's not only Japanese for that. What kind of society appreciate or celebrate for being poor? I mean, the poor means financially poor. Oh, I'm so broken. Would you be happy that? I mean, would you advertise how financially difficult? I mean, you know, I wouldn't. But that's what they're doing right now, with using different word from different culture. So, that's... I mean, I'm a big fan of the visible mending. Please do not get me wrong. I'm a big fan of visible mending. I love that concept, and I enjoy that concept by myself as well. What I'm saying is that mixing the visible mending with the word they do not fully know is a bit dangerous. They can mix it if they know it, but if they don't know it, they shouldn't do it. Uh, people don't tend to be proud of poverty. I try to be proud of my needle mending work, but I know that it's something I am doing and choosing, not something that's... Yep, yep, yep. Sorry, I'm not. I'm always feeling you, Asanoha, is very nice and beautiful, so I love it. I'll do Asanoha on Hana skin tonight. Enjoy! I will be doing it for... <laughs> Since I am talking now in English, I will summarize this sometimes later, but <laughs> every time, every time, every time I do the <laughs> live streaming, people ask me what I'm making, which is perfectly fine. It, it's really a good question, right? Like, of course you want to know what I'm working on. Like, it can be the coaster, it can be the pillow, it can be the jacket. Of course you want to know, and I'm perfectly... It's very understandable. But that question itself is kind of the expla explanation that they are not still getting the core yet. Because many people who took my workshop probably don't ask me that question. At least the Japanese student I spent time, a lot of time with. Um, I don't consider them a student, actually. My friend there. They don't ask me what I'm making. Uh, so this is my challenge, actually. And I also learned that the art can be... No, the sashiko can be art. I consider sashiko is not an art, but I think sashiko can be the art by me adding some message. Is it message? Message. Like some context into the work. So that's kind of something I'm working on right now. <laughs> I'm going to just keep stitching Asanoha the same pattern, same size, same movement for my entire life. How about that? It doesn't explain that I don't care the result. It doesn't matter what I make. I mean, of course, I make, I make things. I make items to make money. I make things to... When you know, I make the pillow to sit down, but at the same time I sometimes move my stitching. I mean, sorry, I enjoy the process of like just the moment of stitching for the purpose of stitching. So I told this one in the Japanese live streaming, but I am going to make the hundred meters of the Asanoha stitching first. 100 meter, and then let's see if I can go to the kilo. Let's see 
I don't think it's gonna take that long because I've done already three meters, so three meters in two weeks. Multiply ten twenty weeks. See? A few years. So it's not that insane. If I can focus on just stitching, I can probably do much faster. I have to make my life, you know, my my end meet. Oh my god, it doesn't come. Okay. So, but that's my crazy things going on there. So, I'm not doing anything. I'm just stitching these patterns for and joining. Technically speaking, I can do the live streaming without stitching. You know, many people do the live streaming with sh sharing their face. But I don't think my followers enjoy my face that much. You know, they're following because I'm doing sashiko, so... I think I'd rather just share the unedited version of me stitching the same patterns over and over. Some people may find it very boring if they focus on the result. Uh, some people may find it relaxing to just watch it. Or some people don't even care to watch this live streaming, but be here to stitch together. And I like the third one the most. Like, you know, think about me stitching like the fireplace. It, it's great to have, and it's, it's gonna, the purpose is to make yourself, make your house warm. But it doesn't really make you excited, right? So that's kind of the purpose of or ro roll okay so the second question is the kind of the question itself was very good konnichiwa konnichiwa the question itself was very good but it was a little bit difficult to summarize it into one sentence so I'm kind of um, trying to summarize it and then explain that Lily-san, please try. Yeah, 100, 100 sheets of Hanafkin would be very interesting. So the question was about using the Hanafkin, uh, explaining about Hanafkin. She wanted to know how Sashiko had been with the life and also how can it be applied to the life. Actually, there's an answer for that already. It's a really good question, therefore I have an answer for that. It can be anything. Hanafkin is one result of application, but it doesn't have to be. It happened to be a Hanafkin for some reason because it's white, it's easy to stitch, it's easy to control, you don't have to worry about a few meters of fabric to you know, treat after stitching. It, it's com it, like Hanafkin is like a, this is not a Hanafkin itself, but Fkin is the kind of white cloth with this 34 centimeter square ish. And for the dish cloth, so you kind of wipe dishes and then after the dish cloth get dirty, uh, we used for the the cleaning cloth for the table, something above the ground. And after that get too dirty, then we start wiping the floor. And after we start wiping the... F after that purpose, after the, that third life, I think we used to clean the toilet, or it was like kind of dirty place. Uh, in that process, it became zoking, if you know that. So zoking is not the word for something fancy, it's just the one result of the sashiko or stitching hands. It doesn't have to be even sashiko. So this became pretty famous, not a famous, popular around 2000. We have to define what hanafkin is, but if I can define the kind of, in a bigger picture, it is the sashiko stitching on this kind of white or similar gauze fabric so it can be hitomizashi stitching or it can be anything for that in my understanding 
So this is more like the modern modern application of sashiko in 2000, like 21st century, I guess. Yeah. Well, my family made a lot of those fking as well. So it is one result of application of sashiko. Hmm? It's the one application of sashiko. Huh? Yes. <laughs> um, but at the same time, some people think that this is not sashiko. Uh, this is the voice I would like to protect. But I, I don't, it's not my voice, but I respect her voice very much that she doesn't think, she does not consider this as sashiko. It's perfectly great, understandable. Uh, my my teachers, my artisans never considered sashiko stitching on the denim as the sashiko. Uh, we had a little bit of, not a fight, but kind of <laughs> uncomfortable space for that matter. But in my understanding, as long as one knows what, one tries to understand what sashiko is, application can be anything. So it's going to be the same, actually same discussion again. But we can apply the word or concept of sashiko to pretty much anything, even visible mending. I'm perfectly fine with that uh, when they try to learn when they try to not to twist the actual culture. But it's not that easy to, you know, learn somebody's culture. But since it's handcrafting, or it's... It, it, because it is simple, because it looks like just the handcrafting, like just handcrafting is under what I receive, um, they kind of under underestimate the depth of its practice. It is simple. It's super f simple. Anybody can do it. Anybody can enjoy it tomorrow. But it's not shallow. Simple doesn't mean that it's shallow to math. No, let me understand it. For that. Hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm not answering this question well, but um, Hanafukin is one outcome of um, Sashiko's change. Sashiko has been evolving. Um, some people discuss that I am trying to block the evolution of Sashiko, but they don't have to worry about it. It, it is evolving without those people's, you know appropriation it, 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 it is evolving but it has been be, has become something else completely and we're okay with that i'm just not okay with somebody changing it without learning it so yeah anything actually for that the socks jacket probably not underwear but aprons pants I think anything fabric that requires that would be nice to have the um, like you know strengthening reinforcement there we go reinforcement we could apply sashiko so it could be anything and this the transition of sashiko from the let's say Edo period to the today's sashiko um, I'm not going to go into detail, but I will talk about the basic transition in the webinar I'm going to have on this coming Friday. Uh, it's going to be quite quick, but I will go over that. Uh, at least I'm planning. Uh, at least I'm planning. So Let's see. This is actually, okay, you know, if I find today's Sashiko's trend happening in the US as the main place, this is the fourth one, fourth trend or boom or wave, fourth wave of trend in the history of, well, of course, you know, there might, there should be more waves 
which I do not know, but as long as I know, as long as I can tell, there are four waves. This is the fourth one. There are, there are three waves before this. I was not allowed to teach before this one, so my inf the stories from us is not on anywhere until recently. For that, I mean, there's not that many stories by Japanese people in English, so not knowing is perfectly fine because there's nothing to learn from. But since you know me, I mean, since you know that I exist, please learn from me as well. I mean, I'm not saying you shouldn't learn from something else. Please, please learn from something else as well. And please compare that. Please fulfill each other. Uh, what I teach is, what I share is really one part of Sashiko, and I want to make sure that you can fulfill the others. I'm not, you know, qualified to teach the whole picture of Sashiko. It's too big. It's too big. It's too deep for that matter. It's too deep to teach the whole picture. I can do what I can do. I know what I can do, so. So sorry about that. I mean, I'm not answering the question fully, but I hope it makes sense. Um, any application would be good. And that's why I say I'm the past of the Sashiko and you're the future of Sashiko. Many people disagree with me <laughs> when I write it. Like people say, "Well, well, well," but I am the past. I am just learning, studying the history of Sashiko and how it was and how it should be. But when one learn, not even learn. When one tries to learn, well, not even try. When one is willing to try. Willing, that's the key word. Willing to try. They don't have to even learn. One, when one is willing to try to learn, I think it is going to be okay. The worst case scenario will not happen. However, asking to learn is the thing that they... they They think, some think that they give me the opportunity to share. Yes, probably that was like that before the workshop, not a workshop, before the internet. They have to find somebody and they, we as the craft person may have to work so hard to be publicated, published, or even publicated. But now because of the internet, we don't have to try that, so. Shinobu-san, konnichiwa! Hello, hello, thank you so much for coming. So... So those are two questions. Those are two questions that I received on the Instagram story. If you have other questions, please ask, leave the questions on the stories. There should be the Sto stories collection or like I, I don't know how to like something that I summarize or collect there should be a survey area and you can get the survey section I will ignore the question I have received so many so often and if you do not get the answer that means the answer is already online um, please google that question with the name like question plus Atsushi, my name, you will get the answer. I tried that before I made that post. I tried that. Most of the frequent questions like why do you make a loop in Sashiko? How to start, how to finish, what is Sashiko thread, what is Sashiko needle, blah blah, what is Sashiko per se, what is cultural appropriation in Sashiko? All of those questions you you don't get the result if you just type it in. But by putting my name, because, you know, my name is Japanese, so it's kind of unique. It jumped to the either video or article. All, all you need is like 10 minutes of your time to learn that question. So I think it's fair for me to not to answer those questions over and over. So yeah, please do so. 
But there are a lot of questions that I have not answered yet, and I... Well, I have to. Ah, Shinobu-san! I like Sashiko, I eat the plants, and I eat the Sashiko through. Oh, by the way, uh, she's doing her best. She's, she's, she's doing a great job in writing in English, but... Atteru, atteru. This, she's a genius. Um, Shinobu-san is really good at dying thread. I knew it. I knew that she would be a great rising artisan, like dying artisan. She, she learned Sashiko from me, but I kind of saw that she would be a great dying artisan as well. And it kind of pushed her back to the pond of so-called dying, and she's swimming very good. Uh, she, she's she's really good. She dies thread really beautifully. Uh, I am very much interested in dying as well, but if I do it, I won't come back to the live streaming or Sashiko. So, at this moment, since I have a very limited time, you know, my family, my daughter. So I would just focus on stitching. Plus, I have to make 100 meter of Asanoha. I don't have to, but I will make it, so... <sighs> how... How much time has... 30, 40 minutes or so? <laughs> With scaring you, like, don't ask the question that I... I've already answered. If you have any question, please let me know. <laughs> That's a double standard. I understand. That's a double standard, but I mean, live live streaming is a little difficult, different. So, no. if you know me in person, not even in person. If you know me, if you kind of DM me, and if I decided, if I kind of found that, I kind of use the sixth sense. Sixth sense. Ah, it's not a good. It's not, it's really not. It's very subjective, so it's not really good. But I try to be extra, super difficult on the Instagram. So some people think that I'm like the sharp, sharp knife that if you touch it, it's gonna be cut. I'm not like that usually. So. Don't, don't worry too much. I say what I have to say, but it doesn't mean that I'm gonna bite you every time you, <laughs> you talk to me. Or, you know, every time you say, well, be, be, be reasonable, be decent, please. That's, that's all I ask. Hey, Atsushi, my denim pants broke. Is it a crotch again? Did I say crotch? Oh, my denim pants broke. Denim, my denim pants broke. Crotch. What is the crotch? Did I say crotch? あの、<笑> 
またまたが避けたみたいなあれでジョーク難しいんですよあ,あ、はあ、リリーさんそれはすごく高度だなんか声が違って違う人みたいな味だそのギャグは無理だああ She shared a nice joke in Japanese, but I don't know how to translate that. It's funny, but I. <sighs> Please help me to. <laughs> Once again, Google how to translate that joke. I so. <sighs> again, we have to use. We have to find the word. Again, similar to again, yet somebody, somewhere the body is part. It's more like a rhyming. Mataka, mataka. Sungoi na bukkon de kimasu ne. Sono eiyaku wa. 思いつかないですね。<笑>その英訳は。ちょ、ちょっと書いときます。ちょっとあの、宿題で。書き、書いときます。またか。またか。サイドか。これがまたってことな。両方またってことな。だ黒地か。オールアゲインかこれはちょっと宿題ですね勉強しておきますちょっと考えるうん<笑>ぶっ込み具合が素晴らしいですはあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。I, I barely get upset or angry. I don't find, like, I know how angry I can be. But I don't think I, I'm angry when I receive some of those comments or DMs. It's kind of different feeling. It's, it's not an anger. You know, they define on behalf of me that it's anger, and I understand that it's anger for them. But it's really not the same. Especially, it's not gonna translate well into Japanese. It's not the anger in Japanese word. So. But it, it's good. It, it's not a pleasant, too. So it's, it's good that I kind of calmed myself down yesterday. また日本語はいつ,いつかというか時間を置かずにまたすぐやります。アンダーパンツアンダーパンツからいけるかなアンダーパンツ頑張って訳します。難しいんだよな。うん、よし
So it has been 45 minutes or so, well, probably more than 45 minutes or 45 minutes. So I'll probably stop in 15 minutes or so. And I probably will do another live streaming sometimes next week in Japanese mainly next time. And when I receive a good amount of questions on the stories, I will. It's always easier for me to do the English live streaming with the topic or questions to talk about. Uh, if I don't have any, <laughs> of course I feel much easier to talk in Japanese. So I kind of shift my language to there. It is okay to be, I think it's okay for me to be quiet, but at the same time, you know, if I can talk something in Japanese, I would write, I would like that too. So, if the question itself requires very, very, uh, very throw out explanation, I would make the YouTube as the live session. Not a live session, live streaming. I will make the link on live. <laughs> I will make a link in the YouTube so I can talk with a lot of examples. But mainly in the YouTube becomes kind of the burden. Sometimes it can be a burden on me, and I like to not to have the that much pressure. So, most likely it's gonna be on the Instagram. <laughs> it's endless and <laughs> End, end, endless asanoha. Hayabaya to hobo hobo ano yon meter atari kara akite kimashita. Demo in this. Zuto asanoho yaru chizukeru kyo kyo yimasu. Hyaku meter made wa skunakuto. Ne. Alright, I hope that my answers to uh, sorry, the question the answers for the two questions made sense. If you have any follow-up questions on those topics, please let me know or leave the comments on this should be uploaded to the YouTube with some edit. So if you're watching this on the YouTube and if you have some questions or request to follow up, please write down the comment. I try my best. But I used to, well, not I used to, I have been sharing the stories so that some of the stories will be left in the future including stitching like unedited version of stitching they will somebody might be able to find it in the future so i thought that sharing is the key to leave the culture behind at the same time i am learning and some many people teaching me the importance of delivering those messages so sharing is one way to share but delivering the message is another way to make it happen so webinar or the asking for the questions I mean good questions those are more like the way to deliver the message so you may find it a little bit boring because in the process of delivering the message I will repeat the same thing over and over but I think that's how we communicate in this super busy days it's really difficult I mean I I don't think it's too much to ask but it is difficult to be mindful to understand or to listen the whole story 
every time I share that. So. よっしゃこの糸終わったら今日の配信は終わりにしようと思います。最近ちょっと昨日配信しすぎて眠たいので、えっと、まあ、週末ですけどね。また来週どっかで配信ができたらいいかなと思っております。あの、早もどっかでやったんですし、あの、時間見つけてまた戻っていくんですけど、ちょ時間を見つけてまた戻していくんですけど何かの差し子関係で聞きたいことあったら教えてください<笑>質問くださいもう差し子とは何ぞやぐらいからでもいいと思うそういうビデオを作った方がいいなとは思ってビデオの練習もしてるのででまあ質問がたまってこればまた差し子の部屋も再開したいしあのテーマがないのももちろんやるんですけどテーマがあった方が眠たい時は楽<笑>完全に僕のわがままですけどうんうんうんうんうんうん I'm sorry, it's so sleepy. I'm so sleepy. Well, it's good that the weekend stage, well, no matter how sleepy I am, I won't crush. You know, the worst case scenario, I'm going to stub my finger, so. I won't hurt anybody. <laughs> yeah, the work now is in the same time. Kino. 配信で分かったんですけど俺眠たい時って頭働いてないねほとんどなんかダメほんと昨日はだからマリナちゃんにも申し訳なかったなと思いながら拾えてないしのでまあ頭使えるような配信にしようかなと思っておりますかけたいやあ,あくびが止まらんのですよそう昨日も配信してましたあのコラボしてましたんですけど残してないんですよねあのご,いご依頼があってなのでまた昨日でも本当何話したかぶっちゃけあんま覚えてないすっごい眠かったのよ。いや、楽しかったのは覚えてるんですけど、すっごい途中からバーッとして、来たんだけど、楽しかったですけどね。そうそう、コラボは残すのがね。まあ、でも、引き続きいろんな形で配信をやっていこうかなと思います。クルボムのコラボやったー。髪型が半端ない。来るもの拒まず、さるもの追わずの精神は変わってないので、それはあの相変わらずなので、今後もそうやってやっていけたらいいかなと思ってます。Alright, thank you so much for watching the Sashiko live streaming. I will come back whenever I Accumulate questions for you to answer? No, questions for me to answer. Would you show me the front side? Of course, absolutely. Which one? The one I'm working on or the one which is completed already? <laughs> And the Ryori Bangu みたいな感じで今あの三分クッキングみたいな感じであの各ね飽きる瞬間が違うのでこれが今日でしょタンタカタカタカタンタンタンでこれが今日でしょタンタカタカってちょっとこれを寝かせたものがこちらになりますって言って全く同じものができてくるってこのこのこれ<笑> 3分クッキングでこれをつなげますこれをつなげて
1メートルにしていきます。これでもう繋いだら2メートルになるわけですよ。え、繋がるよなあ、じゃあびっくりした。繋がるんですよ。えあれあ、うんあ、えあ、あ、びっくりした。死ぬびっくりしすぎてしあーちょっと眠気覚めた相当気合い入れて書いてるからさこれこうやってつなげていくんですよああびっくりしたそんなわけで今日の差し子は終わろうと思います、uh, Thank you so much for watching I will come back next week バイバイ見えたあーびっくりこれこれ書くの大変なんですよこれなんだかんだ言ってあの布の大きさがちょっと微妙に違うのはご愛嬌でつなげた後にねつなげた後に端はトリムするんですけど縫い代はねあんま考えてないですねあーそうか縫い代か縫い代な縫い代はいいんじゃないかなあーこんにちはどうもですぬいすいません終わっちゃいます縫い代なあ困ったな困ってないなあまあいいんじゃないわかんないでしょ1メートルちょっとぐらい縫い代か次縫い代じゃじゃあじゃあじゃあじゃあもう合ってない方を合わせればいい。無理無理こう、こういうことよね。こうすればいいんじゃないああ、できた。ほら、できた。ほら、できた。ほら、こんな、まあ、ぶっといの後ろですけど。じゃあ、あの、多分大丈夫なんです。なぜかというと、100メートルになるから。誰も見ないって。こんな細かいとこ。もう机の上が朝の葉だけで気持ち悪くなるレベルなんですからもう一個どっかにあったよほらもうもうさこれあの重ねしたくない重ねしたくないもう余裕で3メートルはいってるんですよね絶対全然できるよ全然できる100メートルは。ただ、いつかはわからん。よっしゃ。そんなわけで。すいません、ほんと。ネビトさんもすいません。しっこずさんって、あ、しっこずさんって言われるし、こずこずえさんをしっこずさんって呼ぶ。ミシンの方は、ちょっと教えて、ミシンマジで。ミシン、下手くそというかね、下手なんですよ。下手くそというか、下手なんです。本当に下手なので。やっぱ甘やかされて育つとダメね。できないことばかり増えていきますね。よっしゃ、すいません。中途半端な時間で申し訳ないですが、ここで終わろうと思います。ありがとうございました。Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.